Hey, how's it going, everybody? Not like anybody's watching, but I just wanted to give an update. I've been uh, curious about how to uh, hook up a hall sensor to some FETs. And um, I guess basically I'm trying to figure out <laughs> different ways to use FETs because, you know, I'm wanting to drive this motor with FETs. And I don't know much about FETs. And, uh, and so, this is one of my old, um, my old Badini motors. It's a, it was a three-coiler. But I removed one coil so I can hook up the hall sensor over there. And, um, that's my circuit. Oh, half of it is my circuit. This half that's showing, it's got two transit, or uh, two FETs. And, um, and the hall, the hall sensor. And I got about, you know, normal, like five, uh, five ohm coils, maybe five and a half ohm coils. And, uh, this is a coaster wheel. You get them at, you know, the hardware stores. They got pretty good bearings in them. Not great, but good enough to work. So, um, let me show you how this works. I'm going to just turn on the power. Sorry for moving it around and stuff. I'm just going to turn the power on. Self starter. You see the two synchronous coils. They're a little bit out of phase. I originally dro uh, drove this wheel with uh, Bedini circuit. I was using those those three thirty five or thirty fifty fives transistors. It's uh, it goes pretty good. It goes, I got, I've gotten it up to around uh, like seventeen hundred RPMs or something. Well, I added up to 1700 once. Sometimes if you hold this thing right, it'll it'll do better. I don't know. But that's not the the good part. The good part is that you know I'm I'm learning. I'm learning how to uh, to use FETs, um, which is really good. Um, because my other motor is going to take, going to require a lot of, a lot of power. I'm hoping the FETs will do it. Um, they seem to be fast enough with the data sheets, and um, so I, you know, I'm going to try that. Try those FETs out. I use four FETs on that other motor and see what I can do. Um, here's the circuit right here. Very simple. Works like a champ. And I got it right there with that free energy. It's that LT dot N A R O D dot U. Whatever. Um, but I wanted to give a shout out to Ed Morbus, was it? He um he sent me an email uh, with the link, so I appreciate him doing that. And you can see that the circuit works good, very simple circuit. I thought it was going to be a lot more complicated than that.
1674. I can crank the, the, the voltage up, I think. And I got 14 volts in it right now. That's what I like about it. You can really just crank up the current on this thing. There's 1800. And going faster and faster and faster, almost 1900. I'm just liable to uh, experiment with the voltage and see, see, how, see how fast I get this thing before I blow something up. But that's it. Um, one thing I wanted to mention was that in this circuit, it mentioned, uh, it said that it wanted this 100 microfarad capacitor, and um, I stuck in a uh, a 50 volt 10 microfarad capacitor. And, and like I say, I don't know much about electronics, but the first time I had this thing running, I could not get this thing past 1500 RPMs using 100 100 microfarad. I put the 10 microfarad in the higher voltage capacitor and, and you can just really get this thing you can really get this thing smoking. Eighteen hundred and sixty two. So let's see if we take this thing up a little higher if we can eighteen five. I can hear it's still accelerating. 21, uh, 1950, 1960. It's still climbing. Is it going to make... There it is, 2,000. 2,000 RPM and it's still climbing. And, and there's no smoke coming out of it. Uh, those FETs will take um, 30 volts. And I'm, I got a 50 volt capacitor in there, so I'm guessing I can really crank this thing up. And it's smoking, man. Anyway, it's all fun, you know, having a good time, learning new stuff, and thanks to some people who are helpful and appreciate that. So that's it, just give you guys a little update. Um, be good, we'll talk to you guys later.